And we're back in the house. So we have two of these condos that are exactly the same. They both have Nest thermostats. And apparently they're both not working. So looks like we got nothing. Check our wiring. And they're still building this building. So and everything looks like it's wired properly. But I have no power. Let's go check the breaker. <laughs> That's why that's off. Uh, furnace. Yeah, it's on. Let's go ahead and flip it on and off. Just be safe. No power still. Let's go check the furnace. Alrighty then. So I got no lights. So, I'm not getting power. The breaker's on. And here's this. Oh, it's off. See that lights? Yeah. Well, that was easy. One down. All right, so our thermostat is powering back on. And uh, we're going to cycle the heat just to make sure that it's all working. It looks like somebody flipped the switch. And the one next door, the, the condo right next door, uh, that one's having the exact same problem. So I wonder if they turned that switch off too. So she finished booting up and she's calling for heat. So let's go see if the furnace is kicking on. Okay, so she fired up. Just gonna make sure that the blower kicks on and then uh, we'll move on to the next one. So while I'm waiting for the blower to kick on, I thought I'd mention this. So we're in an attic space. And yeah, there's a little bit of insulation, but there's nothing on the roof. Um, this is a condensating furnace. What do you think is gonna happen when it gets below temperature or below freezing in here? Uh, all that crap, all the uh, collector boxes are gonna freeze up and then the heat's gonna go down. I've come across it multiple times where they install a unit in an attic and it's not insulated, uh, so it just freezes up. It's like if you're gonna put one in an attic and not insulate the space, then do an 80% or not a 90. So I'm gonna let the guy know, I'm gonna be like, hey, you know this is probably gonna freeze, so. Anyway, uh, let's go check out the other one. All right, so we're in the next one. Just gonna check the breaker. It is on. All right, here's the stat. Not doing anything. It's connected properly. All right, let's go find the furnace. All right, it's so the same thing. This one's in a non-insulated space. 90% it's gonna freeze, power's off. Okay, cool. So let's, we'll wait till this thing kicks on. All right, so we're at the thermostat. It's not kicking back on. We'll give it a minute though. Um, these Nest thermostats run off of a battery. So if the battery's completely dead, it's gonna have to charge it up a little bit before it'll kick on. So we'll give it a minute. All right, so I'm checking, I'm checking the voltage to see if I have 24 volts going to the stat. I do, so probably just need, the stat probably just needs a little while to charge up before it'll kick back on. So we'll plug it back in, let it charge up and then uh, try it. that's not coming back on now it's possible that the battery may have just died or maybe the thermostat's no good uh, only time will tell so we're gonna let her charge for a while and uh, hopefully she just kicks back on but yeah the furnace itself seems to be fine so we'll go ahead and close this back up and uh, see if that thermostat kicks on at some point yeah, so it still hasn't kicked back on, so I think this thermostat might just be faulty. Uh, we'll leave it. I mean, it's got power going to it. Um, furnace works, so if it does need some more time, uh, it should just, uh, you know, turn on and start heating, assuming it's already set to heat. So we're going to let them know. Worst case scenario, we'll have to change this hole out. Um, if you do change these things out, always change the back plate because the back plate could fail too. Sometimes I've seen it where the back plate is the culprit and the front plate works totally fine. Um, another thing too is if you want to charge it up faster, you see here you got a micro USB. Uh, you can always plug that into a charger and charge it up that way as well. Um, actually, I think I'll give that a shot. I think I might actually have a charger for this. So we're in my truck here. We've got a plug here and see if that does anything. 
Okay, you can see the light up here is flashing. I don't know if that shows up on camera. So it's doing something. So we'll we'll give it a minute and see what happens. Alrighty, she's been charging for about, I don't know, five minutes. And I see the Google sign. It looks like it's booting back up. So yeah, sometimes it just, uh, what happens is since this hasn't had power for a while, it runs off the battery and the battery just went completely dead. And no, whether it's receiving power or not, it's, um, it's always running off the battery. So if the battery is completely dead, even though that you have power to it, it's just not going to run. So, you know, what you can do is you can plug it in like I did, uh, or you could just leave it there for a while and then it should just boot up once the battery gets enough charge to get going. So I'm going to leave this plugged in for another five minutes and then we'll put it back on the wall and then we'll just make sure everything works. And then, uh, you know, once the battery has enough juice to at least stay on, you should be good. But uh, yeah, that's why it's always good to keep those micro USB chargers on your truck, especially if you're working on a lot of nests, you can manually charge them. The reason why they have that, it's so, um, what do you call it? Uh, the ones that don't have a common wire. So basically what happens is you could run it without an R and a C, um, supposedly. It doesn't work very well, but basically anytime it's calling for heat or fan or, or for cooling, um, it's actually scabbing the 24 volts from the control signal to charge the battery. But if it's not running for a long period of time, the battery dies. So if that happens, that's why you got this charger, so you can plug it in. Um, so a lot of people will install these and they don't have a common wire. Uh, so this is what they, every now and then you just have to take it off the wall and charge it um, because that means your system wasn't doing anything f for um, for a while to the point where the battery just died. Um, so that's why they have this on here. So um, if you can, always hook up an R and a C. If they don't have a C, I wouldn't recommend putting one of these in there because it just causes a lot of issues. They say it works, but it really doesn't. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing back on the wall because it's telling us to... Uh, please attach the display to its base. So we'll see if it stays charged long enough for me to get back up there. All right, popping it back on. Uh-oh, that's, that's too slow. <laughs> it used up the battery. All right, but we got the light going, so it is charging. All right, you see now it's flashing green. That means it's booting up. Cool, so we got enough charge in it to a point where it'll boot up. And now that it's receiving constant 24 volts, it should charge. So it should be fine now. It should be able to operate. Man, this one was completely dead. It actually lost all of its settings. Alrighty, so she's all set up. Uh, man, she must have been dead for a while, or maybe they just never set it up. But it uh, should be good to go now. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't have the... So yeah, this is the budget Nest thermostat. If you're going to... Get a nest, get get the get the good one. This is a piece of junk. It's only a single stage too. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to the furnace, make sure it's kicking on. Yep, she's on. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Um, if you'd like to see me do uh, some nest thermostat uh, training videos, let me know. Uh, pretty much everyone that I work with hates nest thermostats and pretty much just comes to the fact that they're not familiar with them. Uh, I love them, I have one at my house. So I can do some training videos on how to set them up and how to diagnose them. Uh, but this was a good one. Uh, pretty much if it, you lose power and it doesn't come back on right away, try to charge it up. Sometimes that'll fix it. Uh, so anyway, hopefully this helps. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.